Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you a quick lag reduction in auto dropper systems. So you may have seen this design before where it's a comparator facing out of this dropper going into redstone dust, which goes into a repeater, powering this redstone dust, and since when we put an item in here, the comparator will give out a s signal strength of 1, but this repeater gives out a signal strength of 15. So that causes this comparator to depower causing a clock. And then this redstone dust powers this block which powers this dropper by quasi-connectivity. So as you can see, when you put in items, it, automatic it automatically shoots them out. However, what you may not know, for example, what if I put in items again, you can see there's a lot of redstone dust flashing. And redstone dust is very laggy since you may not know that when you power it, it goes up to signal strength 15. However, it doesn't just go and depower straight to power level 0. It instead, power powers down by one level at a time. So for example, if I depower it, it doesn't go from 15 to 0. It goes from 15 to 14 to 13, etc. And that causes a lot of block updates, making redstone dust one of the laggiest components in redstone. I set up a crew test with a lot of redstone dust and this redstone dust will be switched on and off very quickly and using Nemom's carpet mod we can measure the MSBT and the TPS which are basically measures of server lag so TPS should always be at 20 but and the lower the, the lower the MSPT the better so right now we're sitting at around a 7 to 6 MSPT in this super flat world keep in mind so there's nothing else going on except the animals but we'll ignore that for now. Keep in mind, this is a very crude test. So when I turn this on, which alternates this redstone dust, you can see the MSTPT instantly rise up. And above 50, you notice that the TPS starts dropping, which is really bad for the server performance. So that just shows how laggy redstone dust is. And as you see, when I turn it off and it stops flashing, it instantly goes back to around 6 MSPT, which is acceptable. And as you saw, this creates a lot of flashing redstone dust going from 15 to 0 at once. Now a quick fix to that is to use a comparator instead. And this design was actually shown by Cupanston, and it's a very easy fix. Just put a comparator here, set this to subtract, and that's it. it. Works exactly the same, but instead of flashing from 0 to 15, it only flashes to 1, causing much less block updates and much less lag. So that's it, just a little bit of information I want to share with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.